I'm Sid Chunas, and welcome to the third lesson on Have Fun Learning Python. In this lesson, I'll show you a robot that I built to help me out in a very big way. And this robot is also programmed in Python. Well, keep watching because this robot helped me in a situation that could happen to you. Hey Sid, have you folded your t-shirts yet? Oh no, I forgot. I had to do that, right? Alright, looks like I have some clothes to fold. Start off with the first one. See how this goes. That doesn't look right. Try again. Ugh! I don't like folding clothes and look, I didn't get it right either. But I do love doing robotics and I, I always get robotics, right? Speaking of robotics, why can't I just build a robot then make it fold my clothes? Isn't that a good idea? Let's do it. Now here's my t-shirt folding machine robot. Test it out. Here's my first t-shirt. Wow, did you see how it folded it? I guess this is a success after all. Next one. You've got to be kidding me, this is super cool. how much impressed I am. Wow, this robot folded all these t-shirts quickly and beautifully. Must say I'm impressed. So now I will show you how I built this robot. The build. So you can see here, here are the two motors and they control these two arms. And the wheels here actually are for the sleeves of the t-shirts. So the sides and of course they're sleeves. So we have the sleeves here. And then these will just support, like you'll keep it down like that, so it will do it properly. And these two arms are identical, one for each side of the t-shirt. And I extended it long enough so it's good for my size t-shirts. And of course now we have the middle part, like the middle, to fold the middle of the t-shirt to finish it off. So here I put two frames connected over here at the hub, connected it, and here are two motors. And I, the reason why I put two is to have the, as much force as possible and have it nice. So you can see I have I put frames so it doesn't weigh so much. And I noticed that if I didn't have these green kind of things, some flaps of the t-shirts like middle part would come out. And then you wouldn't expect like a, a great result. So after I put that, it actually started folding wonderfully. And you may be wondering why I put my hand here and there's a distance sensor. So there's a distance sensor here, so when I put my hand close to it, it will trigger the program to start, and you will have a neatly folded t-shirt. Now I'll show you the Python program I wrote. All right, here's my Python program. And as you can see here, I, I, my, my instance imported the usual libraries. I haven't changed anything. And here I've defined the hub and the distance sensor and the motors. And here I have the, I set the default speeds of the motors, the left arm, the left part of the t-shirt, and the right arm, for the right arm of the t-shirt, and the middle motors. Our all speed sets the speed to 100, which is the max. Here I put us in a while true loop, and remember while true always means a forever loop like in Scratch. So the distance sensor will wait for a distance closer than 6 centimeters, so I put my hand near the distance sensor. And here's my right arm. It will go and fold the right flap, and then it will go back into its idle position. Same with the left arm. It will fold and go back. And same with the middle motor. It will go and then back to its idle position. So 
simple, right? So I can show you a program that I wrote in Scratch here. So Scratch, it's easy. When program starts, it needs to know which are the um, middle motors. So it's A and C. So I set the speed to 100 here. The middle motors set the default speed to 100. And imagine this wild true loop here in Python. So that's like the forever. And if we're in this condition where I put my hand right there on a distance sensor, we'll set the speeds of the other arms to 100. And then it will set, then it will start running like one, two, and then the last motor. So it will go then back to its idle position like that for 120 degrees. And it will, the middle motor will move back, fold it, and then it will stop moving for a sec. And then it will go back. So these two are pretty much identical and, of course, simple. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any doubts of the Python program that I wrote, just hit me up in the comments below. And please tell me what creations you build. Make more and program more in Python. I'd like to see what creations you make. So also, just hit me up in the comments below. I want to see your creations. And yeah, always, please like, share, and subscribe right over here. Bye, I'll see you in my next video.